So I want to go over the difference between the 30-year-old teeth in the day denture base approach and the D5 digital approach to doing full arch dentistry. What you're looking at here is the 30-year-old denture base approach. And what a lot of people don't realize that thousands of teeth in the day implant centers, all you're really getting is a converted denture with temporary parts on the day of surgery. So what happens is, is the basically the office will make an inexpensive plastic denture before the surgery, or with newer technology, you can actually 3D print a denture, or you can mill a denture, but if you look, they basically all have the same attributes, they're bulky, you have the palate, and they're weak. And so at a teeth in the day center, with the traditional approach, you take out the teeth, you put the implants in, because the denture wasn't precisely made before, because you didn't know where the implants were gonna be, basically you just screw in temporary cylinders, and you start drilling holes in the denture, and then when the holes are drilled, you're basically gonna take plastic and inject between the temporary cylinder and the inexpensive plastic denture, or now 3D printed denture, and at the end, you basically just got a simple temporary denture that screws into the implants. You take some of the plastic off of the roof of the mouth, you try to thin it down, but the problems this have are numerous. It's usually bulky, it can affect speech, the big problem is, is this bond between this uh, plastic is weak and it's breaking. And I can say this because I did thousands of these with this old technology over many years. Now, why that's critical, the whole teeth in the day approach or immediate load where you splint implants together is based on once you splint them together, it's critical during the healing phase over months that this never comes off because the physical act of taking this off can make the implants fail. So from doing thousands of these when these were breaking, we were always trying to jury rig how do we fix this because they're breaking so often but not take it out to make the implants fail. So with D5 technology, we basically, three visits, we've done thousands of patients. We can get you to true permanent all zirconia teeth Featuring Pertal 2 is truly one of the world's most expensive zirconia because of its stunning aesthetics. So just think of this. At D5 centers, you can start a seven-day path back to ideal dental health and a beautiful smile. We find that many people suffering from ill-fitting dentures or many broken or failing teeth, they have a phobia going to the dentist. So at D5 centers, just think, with our seven-day path to ideal dental health, give us three visits for many patients and you have beautiful permanent teeth. You're done except for a couple post-op visits. Or you could choose this old approach and either have a temporary denture, traditional acrylic or printed or PMMA in your mouth, but they're all just plastic dentures and you're stuck wearing this for up to 10 months. And for that privilege, when you do your research, using this old analog technology, many centers charge fifteen dollars to $30,000 more than we charge on a complete case. So if you call us for a free consultation at a nationwide D5 center, for many, you can begin a personal journey to just gorgeous teeth, ideal dental health, three visits in seven days, it's all done. What could be better than that? That's what D5 technology allows. Now, what really allows this is our lab. Many centers that will pretend to have what we have, and really all they have the, is the ability to make the temporary teeth. We have a lab that we've invested millions of dollars in. It works three shifts, 24 hours a day, to make the D5 process possible. Real, permanent, all zirconia teeth in seven days for many. You don't have to wear these bulky dentures anymore for up to 10 months. You don't have to spend 15 to 20 visits going to the dentist. In seven days and three visits, you have beautiful permanent all zirconia teeth.